I mean, Stratford's a fairly small town in a sense, um, but uh, there is quite a few busy streets, especially right now it's 10 to 3 on a Saturday afternoon, which is quite a uh, busy time. We're going to go see Jack, who's got uh, almost all the properties on Ontario Street, which is the busiest street in Stratford here. I'm Patrick. I'm, uh, I don't know what you want to call the operations manager, I guess. I just kind of look after uh, the guys in Stratford here and kind of tell them when to go out and fix their problems like we're doing right now next door to uh, the gas bar because Pat can't figure out his fuel card. So, <laughs> Approved. Okay, I will fix that. Here, you can, uh, I'll throw this in yours, son, for now. This okay. is mine. Shouldn't need it again, but whatever. Okay, have a good one. We're gonna go see Jack, who's got uh, almost all the properties on Ontario Street, which is the busiest street in Stratford here. Um, he's got my old route, so I, uh, I definitely respect him for taking on that. And uh, on a Saturday afternoon, I definitely know all the uh, struggles. There's definitely um, quite a lot of traffic and you gotta deal with the traffic because the traffic doesn't really care what you're doing. Um, when you're out there so you got to be careful and yeah there can be a lot of sitting around waiting on red lights and waiting on maybe somebody will let you out but for the most part you got to be uh, pretty vigilant on what you're doing and pretty safe so normally on a two or three o'clock in the morning run it's awesome actually it was my well it was my route but I learned to love it because uh, it was the tightest route because um, we got a lot of properties around there, but uh, can prove to be a bit of a struggle on three o'clock on a Saturday, right before Christmas. I just saw that the guy that is late just pulled up, so we will make sure he's ready to go. Uh, our buddy Ryan Walters, I think uh, he's a contractor himself. I think he was out working on his own job, so I think he's just pulled up. <laughs> well, I know. That was, yeah. I said three, and then Nick said two, so then I said two. I just looked, and I seen Sheldon pass, and I was like, wow. Oh. Fuck. I I'm like, oh shit. Oh, it's all, they literally just left, so yeah. it's all good. There should be a tablet and a radio there for you. Awesome. All right. Yeah. To be honest, when we started today, we the consensus was we weren't going to go out because uh, it was kind of it was calling for five centimeters, but yesterday, no Thursday, we had a high of 15 degrees, so the ground was warm enough. So we thought. Uh, the first few centimeters would melt and then we'd be left with just a little little bit of color possibly but um more came down we, had, we told the guys you know 50 percent chance we're going or we might not which kind of sucks to tell the operators i don't really like doing that but uh it is what it is for the start of the season this is taylor our uh resident full-time mechanic basically for uh, all the tractors if the guys have any issues or uh at basically anything tractor related to let Taylor know and uh, during or after the storm he'll, uh, he'll look after it as long as it's something we can do. When you're so-so on the decision you might as well just go because chances are the customers will be a lot happier if you go, obviously, because the laneway will be clean and uh, 
you don't really want to get caught with your pants down in the sense that you got now you got five centimeters and you didn't go out and maybe you got other people your competition if you want to call it that out and uh, they're in the lane ways are looking better which is not something we want so we are just going to find nick he wanted some good uh good shots of him because he's not often in a tractor but he's looking out for uh, somebody who couldn't make it today so he is just on erie street right now so we will uh we will go find him show me Jack's whole route there and exactly where he is so that'll be him right there just hopping along Ontario there is some gravel I told the guys not to uh, not to bother with the gravel properties today because the gravel is going to be so loose uh, with the temperatures going up and down and not consistently staying below freezing it uh, is definitely a struggle with the gravel being uh, picked up with the blowers so we definitely avoid that and for the most part the customers understand uh, they don't want a bunch of gravel being thrown on their front lawn and we don't want to have to clean it up either so, <laughs> so there we got a wire going from this house over to this tele or er, uh, light post Hey, Cam. Yeah, what's up? To Sir Adam Beck, uh, Connor just radioed me and said that uh, there was a wire hanging across the laneway. I just went to have a look. It's a low hanging wire going from one house to another. Um, it's too, uh, it's too low for the fence to hit. I was just wondering if uh, you might have to uh, talk to that customer. All right, thanks for the heads up. That was two Serata back, just to confirm. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, I don't even know what the wire is. If it's, uh, it goes from the neighbor's house to a light post and then back over to another house, but she's hanging pretty low. Uh, Connor said he couldn't get underneath it, and uh, I think I believe him. All right, no, nope, sounds good. It's probably Rogers and a patch drop of knowing them. <laughs> yeah, it could be. I might be able to send a smaller unit there if it's a big deal, but like half the laneway is already melted, so maybe you won't even get a complaint about it. But maybe if you just want to let uh, let the customer know, that's why. Nope, will do. Yeah, here's Connor here with the big, uh, the big fence. That's why I couldn't get under the, uh, under the wire. Uh, figure out a game plan going forward for that, because um, I suspect if it's Rogers or Bell, uh, they probably won't, uh, won't make that wire any higher than it is. I'd maybe push for them to do that if you can. Uh, it'd be a kind of kind of a pain in the ass to send a little tractor over there every storm to do uh, one property that's well out of their way. Oh no, for sure, for sure. I uh, I, I I did mention it to them that uh, you know you know Rogers or Bell or whoever that is is going to need to get contacted, um, and we'll go from there. Um, yeah. 
Hey, Pat Henry. Sounds good. Yes, sir, go ahead. Hey, do we know what the black outline on the tablet means? Like when it's just black and no color or anything on it? That's just a screw up on the back end of the uh, the software. It's a regular customer. Just treat them as normal. Sounds good, love you. <laughs> love you too. Yeah, so basically, at the start of the season, it can be a little difficult on whether you want to send the guys out or not because maybe you haven't quite hit your five centimeter trigger. And I know there's some guys with the school of thought that maybe you shouldn't go out until then because of wear and tear to the tractor and your contract is five centimeters, so go out at five centimeters. But in this situation today, it's a Saturday, so a lot of customers will be home and seeing us out. Um, it's literally our second time out and it's December, uh, what is it, 18th, I believe. So it's kind of a, a goodwill visit just so the customers see us out and plus some of these driveways do legitimately need it some are already melting it's kind of tough to say what you want to do in those situations but my school of thought is if you have to think about it for that long you should probably just send the boys out and uh, I guess the only downside to that is it, it is a Saturday it is two o'clock three o'clock in the afternoon how do you get 10 guys that have 10 different lives together. Obviously that can be a bit of an issue because we got farmers, we've got contractors, we've got guys that, I mean, probably don't want to get the text to come to work on a Saturday afternoon. Um, but uh, it is what it is. It's kind of the job we're in. Um, we got a really good crew of guys that understand that um, you could be called upon at any time and people see that there's snow coming down so ultimately uh we were one short today and we got nick out he uh he's very happy to hop in a tractor whenever need be and other than that it was pretty flawless so far um hopefully everybody can get back to their christmas parties here shortly it's a saturday before christmas so we'll uh get this run done in a couple hours and get the boys home yeah so basically like uh with Maybe the five, three to five centimeters that came down today, you're not gonna get a ton of uh, new signups over that. Although with it being the Saturday right before Christmas, you might have Christmas parties going on where uh, some people are over at uh, mom and dad's house and they see their driveway clean and maybe they want uh, theirs cleaned as well. But uh, once we get a real good storm, like when you can see a few inches come down rather than a few centimeters, you will, uh, you'll see customers signing up because they don't, uh, they don't want to break their box shoveling and they see us drive by and uh, it's uh, nice to look at us from inside than shoveling yourself. We'll see uh, we'll see customers like I think last year we had customers signing up into February and those people are paying a full season. So they uh, people are more than willing to pay the full price to see uh, some big storms cleaned up for sure. And uh, I mean. We'll take it.